Today I'm going to show you how you can create and sell your very own WordPress theme with no coding whatsoever. Now there are lots of different ways on how you can create and sell a WordPress theme but I've made this as simple as simple as possible and I've broken it down into five incredibly simple to follow steps. So if you've ever fancied yourself as a bit of a theme designer but always been intimidated by how technical it is or you run an agency and you want to offer themes for your customers or if you work for yourself and you want to make a bit of money on the side, then this tutorial is for you. Let's get into it. For step one, you need to set up the theme designer or an environment where you can actually design your theme. By far, the easiest place to do this now is InstaWP, which I put on the screen. There is also a link in the description below. I'm a huge fan of this service. Essentially, it lets you spin up a WordPress website because we're going to use WordPress and Gutenberg to actually design the theme. That's why this is so exciting and cool and easy. Now, they have a free version which lasts for 48 hours. And they also have some different plans that give you more benefits. For example, the business plan here allows you to reserve the site that you're going to build, basically keep the site you're going to build forever so you can go back to it and amend it. So which option you choose here will really depend on your own circumstances, whether you're just going to have a go at this maybe for half a day, then choose the free option. If you're an agency and you're more serious about building themes, then you probably want to look at the business option here. Once you're signed up and logged into InstaWP, then just go to your dashboard and you'll see a big green add new button in the top right of your screen. Just click on that and this is going to enable us to build the site that we're going to use to build the theme. Now you'll have two options down here, a temporary site or reserve site. You'll only see the reserve site if you have the business plan. So if you do have the business plan, click on that. That means that site won't disappear and then just click on create site down here. That's going to magically, in an instant, create your website. You'll see a magic login button over on the right. Click on that and that's going to log you into your fresh new, brand new WordPress install, which we're going to use to build out our theme. There it is. Right, next up, we just need to add two plugins to our sites. The first one is absolutely essential and that is the Create Block Theme plugin. So just go to Plugins. Search for create block theme and we're going to add that in to the site. So just install that one. It's this one here. It's called create block theme. I will put a link in the description below to this plugin. Just activate that. I'm going to talk you through that in a few minutes. And I also do recommend that you add the Gutenberg plugin as well. That will just give you the latest and greatest stuff to build out your design. So next I recommend that you use the 2023 theme, the default WordPress theme, which is completely free as the starter theme for your new theme design. You're basically going to take that theme and change the design and export that as your brand new design. What you could also do at this point is using the same process I'm about to teach you, create your own starter theme. And actually that's what I've done because there are a few changes that I always like to make to the 2023 theme when I'm building a theme for a real life project. So that's what I've done and I've called it Jamie's starter theme. So this does things like it gets rid of the space above the navigation at the top. I've changed the fonts in here. Now I'm going to teach you how to do all this stuff yourselves but this gets me there more quickly because this is my starting point when I'm building my new themes now. I've basically taken the 2023 theme, created my own theme out of that and this is the one I'm using to start my projects. If you want to get hold of my starter theme and save yourself a couple of hours, there is a link in the description below where you can go off and buy it. If you use the coupon code Jamie, it's only about four bucks, so it's not very expensive. And I'm selling it in the way that you're going to learn how you can sell your own theme. So if you want to see what the user experience would be when somebody's buying your theme, just click on the link below and you can go and see what it looks like. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to do is add fonts to your theme. Now the 2023 theme comes with a very limited set of fonts but the beauty of the create block theme plugin it gives you this new option here that says manage theme fonts. So you just click on that and it'll bring you to this screen. You've got two options here add google font or add local font. The easiest is add google font. Now this is going to embed these fonts in your site so you don't need to worry about things like GDPR and then all you do is search for the font that you want to use. So I'll just choose any of these and then you'll see this option here. It'll name the font and then you can either choose the individual variant. This one's only got one or you can choose them all by clicking on that little icon there and then you just click add Google fonts to your theme. Those fonts now become available to you in the site editor when you're choosing the fonts for your site and they will also become available to anybody that uses your brand new theme. <laughs> Thank you. 
Global styles let you change the styles throughout your website. The three main considerations are your fonts that the site is using, the layouts of your pages and posts, and also the colors of the site. And to get to the global styles, you click on edit up here once you're in the site editor. Come across to the top right, click on that little icon up there. That'll open up the global styles settings box. And here we have, we have typography, which is your font. You have colors and you have layout. Let's just dive into each one of those quickly. Click on typography. So if you want to change your text, click on that. And this is where you can change the font. Now, any fonts that you added previously using the Create Block Theme plugin will appear here and then you can just apply them here. You can also change the sizes here and some other things as well. Let's dive into the other two. So let's go back. And then you've got your colors of your site. And again, you can change the background color of the whole site, the text color, the links, the headings, and the buttons. You can dive into each one and make changes. Remember, these are affecting the whole site. And then finally, we've got layout. Now, one of the changes I made in here is I increased the content width of the standard 2023 theme page switch because it's pretty narrow. I like a slightly wider width for the sites that I'm building. So I increase that to 750. You can also change the styles of individual blocks as well. So you'll see in the site editor down here, we've got blocks. Just click on that. And now you can go into each block and change the design of that particular block if you want to. And what's really great is all these changes that we're making in the site editor will be exported as defaults in our new theme. The next thing to concentrate on is your page layouts and your post layouts, and they can all be edited by going appearance and editor, which will just take you to the site editor. Now I'm not gonna dive too deeply into how this works because I've done tons of tutorials on how the site editor works, but essentially what you wanna to go to is templates, and these are the templates you can edit. So I recommend that you start with the page template and also the single template, which is the post layout. Now remember, any changes you make to this template, and we can make any changes we like just using the site editor, when you come to export your theme, this will be the design that that new theme uses. And you are free to design as many page templates as you like. For example, if you wanna create your very own custom 404 page, just go into the 404 page template and edit it. Next up, you want to design the header of your site and the footer of your site. Those are found by going to template parts. Just click on template parts, then click on header. Now we can edit the header design of our new theme. Click on edit, and now you're completely free to change the entire design of the new header of your new theme. Once you've finished designing the layout of your header, to simply click on the W in the top left, then click on footer and design your footer layout. One final consideration and a nice option to give your new customers is a custom homepage design with some starter content. And that's exactly what I've done in my theme here. And this is how you do it. Just go to your templates and click on the plus sign there to add a new template. Then come down here to custom templates and click on that. Then give your custom template a easy to understand name like front page, then click create. That's gonna load in the template. Now simply design your new homepage layout. And then when your customers are building their new sites, all they have to do is select that page template over in templates here, and they'll have that beautiful new front page design that you created. <laughs> Once you're happy with the new design of your website, it's time to export it as a brand new theme. This couldn't be simpler now. All you need to do is go to your dashboard, come down to appearance, and then go to create block theme, this option just here. Click on that, and then you're gonna choose the third option down, which is this option here. It will say clone, whatever the name of your theme is, theme. Just select that. Now over on the right here, this is where we put in our theme name, the theme description, the theme URI, which could be your website, you're the author of the theme, which is gonna be you, and also the author URI, which again could be the website. Once you've filled out all those form fields, just go over on the left here and you're gonna click this generate button. That will generate your brand new theme and it's gonna take all your changes and bundle that into the new theme. So the layouts, the fonts, the color, the page templates, and your theme will be downloaded automatically for you. You can see it's down here. Now there's one more step you need to take and that is to add a thumbnail. So just double click on the theme and that will uncompress it and then jump into here and then you'll see the existing screenshot. And then all you need to do is drag your new thumbnail. Now the recommended size is 1200 by 900, 1200 by 900 pixels. Drag your new thumbnail in there, delete the existing one 
and you just need to rename your new one screenshot.png. And then the final step is just to recompress that folder so we can actually use it as a theme. So right click on it and come down here and go compress. And there we go, there's our finished theme. Let's test it out. So here we go, let's add it to this site and see what happens. Just click add new theme and I'm just gonna find that new theme that I've just created. Should be on my desktop, there it is. And click install now and we should see, it'll ask me to activate it. And there it is, there's my brand new theme with my cutesy new thumbnail all ready to go. And here's my new theme running live on this site. You can see there's a lovely front page. If I click on sample page here, you can see all the fonts and all the colors and everything that I changed when I was designing my theme and now working up and running and looking great. Now there are many, many, many ways you can sell WordPress themes from Freemius, which I actually use for my main product and plugin business, to WooCommerce, to easy digital downloads. But by far, the easiest way, if you just want to test out whether there is a market for your new theme, is to use Gumroad. I was completely blown away by Gumroad, just how easy it is to set up a digital product to sell. Now the downsides are they've just increased their pricing to 10%, so they will take a 10% cut of any sales that you make. On top of that, you've got to add your payment gateway, like Stripe will take a small percentage of every sale as well. But for me, the pros completely outweigh the costs, and the pros are ease of use. So I tested this out for the first time yesterday, and it literally took me only 15 minutes from start to finish from getting my product up online to live and ready to sell. The second pro is a huge pro in my book, and that is they act as the merchant of record for you. What merchant of record actually means is that when somebody buys your theme, they're not actually buying from you, they're buying from Gumroad. What that actually means is that all the VAT is handled by Gumroad, all the collection of it, all the reporting of it, and all the allocation of it. And that is a huge headache for a lot of small businesses. And that's completely taken away by using Gumroad. Adding your new theme to Gumroad so it can be bought is incredibly easy. Just go to your dashboard, go to products over here, click on new product, and then basically you're gonna fill out some information. You give it a name up here, you choose what type of product it is. This is gonna be a digital product, and then you give it a price. You can change all that later. Then you go on to customize that product. On this screen, you'll just add some further product information like a product description. You can also add a cover image and a thumbnail. Then we go on to content here. This is where we actually upload the theme itself. You'll see it's added here. And then you go on to checkout finally. And this is where you can add things like coupon codes. Again, if you want to get my starter theme, just use the coupon code Jamie, link in description below to get 50% off. And you'll see a little preview over here of what the checkout's gonna look like. Now there are two ways you can advertise this on your site for sale. You can either get a Gumroad plugin where you can do lots of whizzy stuff, but the simplest way is just to click on share up here and that will give you a link basically to your product so people can buy it. Click copy URL and if it was me, I'd probably go to my website and add a buttons block and just link that buttons block to my brand new Gumroad checkout page. Let's check that out and see if that's actually working. Click on buy now and that should take me off now to my brand new little theme that I'm selling. I can add it to the cart. Here's my shopping cart and you'll see you can apply a coupon code and it's all working and ready to go. So it's never been easier to go off and create your own themes and hopefully make some money. I hope you found that useful and interesting and I hope it makes some money for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it'd be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the channel. It really does. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. So thanks again for watching. If you want to see more videos around WordPress and Gutenberg and lots of other cool stuff, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.